Welcome to Draw Kids, where anybody can learn to draw. Today we're drawing another awesome monster truck. What you're going to need for today's lesson is a straight edge, a large roll of duct tape, a smaller roll, electrical tape, and some pen and paper. Today we're drawing Scooby-Doo, so get your stuff and let's draw. Okay, so here we are drawing Scooby-Doo. I hope you found all of your supplies like we asked in the beginning. So here we go. What we're going to do first is we're going to take our straight edge. We're going to start, find the middle of the page, and go a little bit up. So about right there. We're going to go ahead and put a cheat line so our truck stays nice and straight. We can erase these lines later. So there's your first cheat line to make sure your truck is straight. And next we're going to grab our big roll of duct tape. Put this one kind of towards the front of the truck. Do a quick circle here and another one towards the back. One of the hardest things to draw when I tell people is a perfect circle and a perfect straight line. So by having these, these uh, tools to help us, it kind of takes away that so we can enjoy our drawing. So we'll do the inner, inner part. These will be kind of our hubcaps. Make them as centers as you can. And there you go. So once you have your circles and your cheat line, you're pretty much ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch back to my trusty marker and we're going to get drawing. So what we're going to do first to get uh, Scooby-Doo started is we're going to start at the back of the tailgate. Probably about right here on the back of the back tire. We're just going to do a straight line straight down. This line can also go a little bit above that, that treat line as well. Perfect. So this is the back of the truck. We'll take this line all the way about to almost to the front of that back tire. Perfect. So what we're going to do next is we're going to draw a curve up over this wheel well all the way to about here. So kind of following the same line as that tire, just do a nice little arc. Perfect. So from there we're going to come down to about just above halfway of the middle of the tires. So we're going to go ahead and extend this line down to there. Good. Now let's make a nice straight flat parallel line. So this line is flat with the ground. Good. So from here, this is going to be the back of the collar. So let's do like a curve, just like a nice little curve like that. Perfect. Now we're going to make the thickness of that collar and if that's a straight line. Nice. So let's make this another line just like this one. So curve that one out. Good. So since this collar goes up and over to the other side of the truck, we're going to make it look like it goes up and around. So we're going to kind of do like that. See, so now it looks like it goes up and over. Perfect. Now this line also extends all the way down to here. Actually, before we do that, let's, let's crop off the bottom of this. So this is actually the bottom of the truck. Good. So let's take this collar line and we're going to extend it all the way down. So this collar line goes all the way down to here. Good. And this line as well. So keep the same thickness and bring it all the way down. Good. All right. Moving on. So let's move on to the front of the truck. Right about here, equal with the front tire, and we're going to start doing the nose. So the nose will act like we're doing a letter D, like a sideways letter D. So kind of do that and make the letter D. And that's his nose. Perfect. Next, we're going to curve this. This is going to be his top lift. So curve this down towards that tire. Good. Now again, we're going to take this one up and over the wheel well. But this one's going to be a little bit straighter than that one. Because this one's going to go up and be a smile. Good. So from about right here, we'll curve that up. Actually, let's go ahead and put that smile line there. Like that. And then we'll connect that. Perfect. So moving on, we're going to do the top part of his tongue. So we're going to do a curve 
and a curve. 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 Good. So for the back part of the tongue, we're just going to curve this around. Good, so there's the tongue. Nice job. Now we're going to do the bottom of his mouth. So from the back side of the tongue, we're going to kind of curve that out, like it's just extended out just a little bit. Good, and curve this down. So that's part of the bottom of the lip. And then one more curve to connect to this line, and that'll kind of be his bottom jaw. Good. So now this is going to be a straight line to close that off. Perfect. We're getting there. All right. So let's start back at the nose and we're going to curve this up. This is going to be the hood all the way to about the windshield, which will be right about there. So this line will curve all the way down to the cheat line. Perfect. Next, we're going to do the windshield. So the windshield is going to be at an upward angle, just like that. Good. Now we'll do another line parallel to that one. So that's kind of the, the glass. That's the front of the windshield. So following this same line, we're going to do kind of the side, side window. So kind of follow that same line. Good. Now we're going to do a straight line straight across to about there. Straight line across. Good. Now this back of the windshield or the back of the side window is kind of curved. So kind of like that. And then we're going to close that off. Perfect. So now we're going to do the back of the cabin. This is also a, a kind of a diagonal line. So let's do that. Curve that down. That's the back of the truck. Good. Now let's follow the same line. Let's close this off so we have the top of the truck. Good. All right, so he has two ears. One is up and one is bent. So let's start further to the back and we're going to do like a little curve like that. That's one ear. Or that's the back side of one ear. So let's make it add a little thickness to that. And then that. So that's, that's your one ear. So it's three lines. So we'll do the same thing for the bent ear, except this one is going to be bent up and curved. That's the other ear. So now we're going to do the inside of the ear and then the other side of the ear. Good. So that's pretty much the truck. You know he's got two spots. So let's kind of do a couple a spot there and a spot there like that. Those are his spots. And also we forgot there's a tail. So let's do two lines out like that. That's the beginning of the tail. And then we'll kind of just do a curve. Follow this down. This is also, we're going to thicken that out so it's the second part of the tail. Perfect. Awesome. So let's move on to the tires. So I found a way to do the tires that are nice and easy. Let's do a nice little U at 12 o'clock, a nice little U at 6 o'clock, and then one at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. So 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock. If you notice, I'm not touching all the way to the outside. They're just, they're real close to touching that. So you do 12, 6, 3, and 9, and then you're doing two in between. Nice and even. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and 1, 2. Good. See how that's nice and spaced? Now we're going to take all the ends of these and curve them that way. So they're going towards the front of the car. Perfect. So same thing on this side. 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and then two in between. Awesome. We're almost there. Let's do the shocks. So going up towards the truck here and towards the truck here, we're doing uh, long rectangles. So do a nice long rectangle like that. And then a, two lines to connect the truck. One, two. So let's do one more shock. 
kind of a long rectangle and then two lines to connect the truck. Same thing on the front, let's do them kind of long rectangle, one, two, and then one more. Perfect, so there's Scooby-Doo, let's color. Thanks for hanging out with us, drawing Scooby-Doo. Don't forget to give us a subscribe and come back and draw more with us. We'll see you next time on Draw Kids. Bye!